Free dog, no, go. What's the game, huh? What's up, now? How are we go, man? We finished? That's, that's President Gary. So man. are we finished? That's President Gary that wasn't ever me. All right, now I'm going to check Gary out, too. But don't have me come back down there, okay? That's what you we go out. You just go be the camera TV in my room. I'm asking you a question. You don't want me to come back down here, right? Because you know I'll give you some more time. Some more time what? On that paperwork. You finished? That wasn't me. Ah, uh, you finished? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. DJ, why you do that, DJ? Why you do that, DJ? Gary. Gary. You did do that. Yeah. Is that you? I'm saying, is that you making all that noise? Huh? It's mighty funny all of a sudden it got quiet down here. Huh? 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 You sure that was him? Read my father, man. That was him. All right. I'm positive. I ain't even saying I don't want to hear no more of that. What? No, you bogus. For down there making all that unruly noise. You know better. You finished? I'm gonna put my hour go, and then I'm done. Are you finished? If you finish, you'll get your out. I'm done. That's my man. Thank you. That's all I wanted to know. DJ said we were gonna get out, so I was like, ah! <laughs> 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 you know, I thought I was gonna go crazy smoking my album. That's a camera too. What that is? What's that for? What you gonna do when you get out? Finna go get me a job. You gonna get a job? Yeah. You just gonna get a job in that dead ass boy? I ain't even just cursing like a motherfucker. Yes, sir. Ten minutes. Yeah. Start now, working on that now. You'll be okay then. First thing you need to do is get back in school. In education. Second thing you need to do is make sure you leave those individuals alone. All the outside crowd, they're not gonna mourn you when you're gone. There's too many of my young brothers and sisters thought just locked up. You say no. You gotta say no. I don't wanna be here. I should be doing something else. I'm lucky. I escaped that plenty of times. I shouldn't be here. Out of 13 of us, I'm the last one alive. And it hurt. It hurt. It's messed up. But you can make a change. 
And you've got to do that. You hear me? Yeah. Come on, man. I love you. You hear me? I love you too. Huh? Yeah. What is that? Um, is that white paint? It's uh, it's supposed to be like when you put a one light on it, it's it is more than one. Okay. All right, hold your hands straight out. Squat. Come. Uh -huh. You got any? Uh, well, of course you got tattoos. You uh, pick, get some ears pierced. Yeah. Both of them. Birthmarks? No. No birthmarks? What about scars? Like any new scars? No, no new scars. No, uh. No, I'm sure What about the scars in your head? Any of those? Um, no, I don't think so. It's like I was to be honest with you, they gave me so much last night, I fell out. So I. Uh, turn around, let me see. Yeah. I can tell you that. I don't know about that. Hold your left leg up. Face me, hold your left leg up. And it's kind of me. Boxing gloves on the other hand. Yeah. TKO. And I got this one. What's that say? Like? E Gale. Who? E Gale. E Gale. Yeah. Okay. And I got my first and last one right here. Okay. And then I got this man right here. Tiffany. It's supposed to kill all the uh, mice and stuff in your head. If you got it, probably done. You gotta put it in there. Uh, you know, right. Just rub it around like a shampoo. Make sure you get behind your ears and everything, too. <coughs> you hold your hand up. Don't let it be in your eyes. You know, burn. Put it up under your uh, armpits. Get your pubes with it. I'm gonna drop my head for a second. Make sure you get it all in there. Okay, here's the mark. Is it missing? 
Make sure you put it all in there. Rub it all in. See. Them new scars, right? Yeah, they got last night. Uh, are they burning? Yeah. You need to see like nurses or somebody? No, I'm cool. I just want to go back out. All right. Let me get your shoe strings back, but I got to take these, uh, these Air Force One symbols up out of here. Forces too, though, right? Yeah, I got forces. Right? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I got you. You know, I got a couple of years, so I can't tell you. That was brand new last night. Really? Yes. Okay. You see, push it. Just turn it on so it'll get hot. I'm we'll gonna put these symbols up in your own um, pocket. So when you get released, you'll still have them. All right? All right, let me go get the towel for you real fast. I'll be right back. There you go. It's open up? Yeah. No, go ahead. Take a shot. You know what to do. What's the story of the Jordans? The Jordans? What do you mean? The shoes? Yeah. Oh, these? They had symbols on them. Like, let me show you. Where did I put them back? These are the metal symbols. They come on the Air Force Ones. These are Air Force One slash Jordans. Little metal symbol. Or they're plastic sometimes. We got to take them out of their shoes because you never know what they could do when you sharpen them up, use them in a fight, you know what I'm saying? So we got to take those out. Those were any shoes, any metal objects on any shoes, we got to take them off. Now I just got to go through his clothes. Do you remember this guy? Very vaguely. I remember his face. I'll never forget a face. He a pretty mild man of dude, from what I know. Have you ever had anybody come in who you knew from the outside? Yeah, a couple guys. What's that like? First thing I do is I tell them I told you because usually when I see them out in the streets or just when I see them period, I always tell them, man, make sure you're doing the right thing, you know, stay out of trouble. I don't really tell them a whole lot to stay out of trouble on the, on the street because I don't like people to know their business, you know what I'm saying? I don't go out to somebody and say, hey, stay out of trouble, you know, because then a lot of folks know that I'm a detention officer. And then they know that that person's been in jail, so I don't do that. But I just talk to them, you know. Tell them, make them try to find out if they're going to school or not, kind of job they got, things of that nature. So those are people that have already been in that you've run into on the outside. Right. Do you, well, is people, there anybody that you've like had a friend come in or anything like that? Mm, no. Not when I was working here, before I was working here.
sitting there playing a game. He's like, that shit looks fake. Huh? Outside clothes too, right? No. This ain't being written. Mm -hmm. Go blank. That's what you're going to have when you leave. You got DM. Uh, no, you got to go to court on Monday. See what I'm going to do. Okay. All right, man. I'm just trying to get a little background here. When I see a kid come in and, I mean, we were just here a couple weeks ago, we started coming in young, I try to figure out, you know, what is going on. And, um, you know, you have your dad that's locked up for dealing, uh, you know, I'm not gonna make assumptions. I wasn't there when you were little growing up. I really don't know what it sounds like. Maybe you didn't, you know, see the best of, things going on around you? Is that maybe the case? Okay, you saw crazy stuff growing up probably? Yeah, crazy. Okay. That's, that's why I'm like this, because I've been around crazy people, like my cousins and them. I see them doing bad stuff. I used to think it was cool when I was little. Okay. That said, you can't change it. It is what it is. Yes. 
right? Yes. Okay, but you're sitting here right now and you don't really have very many chances left in this juvenile system. When you turn 18 and you go over there, your chances of getting rehabilitated are going to be less and less and less. You get that? Yes, ma'am. So, you know, I, I don't really know where your head is at, but if you want to make a change, you have to do it. Nobody's going to do it for you. Your probation officer will give you, I'm sure, you know, assistance and try to do that. But unless you, want, you actually want to do it yourself, it's yes. not going to happen. So while you're here, let's see, today's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Until you get here on Monday, I suggest you really think about your life and where you want to be and who you want to be and what you want to do. Because your time, you know, like I said here, is limited. And once you leave here, you know, the adult system, they can really care less about trying to rehabilitate you and trying to get you on a positive path. It's just not going to happen. You're just going to be a number. Do you want that? Like I said, you can't change what you saw in your life, but, you know, you, can, you, you have the power right now, today, to do what you need to do to better your life. Does that make sense? Yes. Do you want to do it? Yes, I do. Or do you want I to keep smoking pot 15, 20 times a day and acting crazy and, and, you know, fulfilling whatever you've seen your family do? I've been, I've been trying to do all that, but it's just, it's hard. I, I just need somebody to You need a good role model in your life, huh? That's what it sounds like. Do you have anybody in your family that you could talk to that maybe has done, you know, things differently? Not in Gary, but they in Chicago, like my, the rest of my family in Chicago. You know, I, I can't tell, you know, I can't tell you what to do when you leave here at some point because you're not going to stay here forever. And, and, you know, I don't know how many more people in your life are going to try to get you to, you know, change. But I suggest you find ways to do that yourself. Find hobbies that you like. Um, you want to get a job? Get a job. Nothing's stopping you from doing that. On your own, call up uh, Edgewater and say, you know, I, I need help. I want to, you know, enter a substance abuse program. They have um, NA, Narcotics Anonymous. If, if you really want to do it, you're old enough, you're almost 18. People aren't going to lead you by the hand to do it. You, you need to do it for yourself. I really do want to do Go it. Go to church. Do you have a religion? No. Anybody in your family go to church? Mom. Your mom goes to church? Okay, start going to church. Start finding activities, getting away from, you know, hanging out and smoking pot 15, 20 times a day. Has anybody ever told you any of this before? My dad, he always told me that. What about the counseling lady? What does she talk about when she comes to see you? She talks about the same stuff. She talking about, like, I need to make a better, I need to start making better decisions on where I want to go and who I want to be. And I just hang around the streets just doing dumb stuff to get me locked up and stuff like that. I mean, do you really feel it though? Do you really feel like I kind of? I mean, do you know that you're at the end of the? You know, you're at the end of the line. You've got 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. You're, you know, do you really feel it? Yes, I feel it. That's why I'm trying to, I'm trying to get my life together, man. I'm, I'm trying my best. I'm trying to do it the best of the way I know how.